twenty November two thousand twenty three Martin Hurley Om Shanti Bhaktata Madhupan Sweet Children In order to become ever healthy and ever wealthy, you now have to ensure your bodies, minds and wealth directly. It is only at this time that you can take out this unlimited insurance. Question What should you remind one another about so that you can all progress? Answer Remind one another that the drama is about to end and that we have to return home. We have played this part innumerable times before. We have completed our 84 boats. We will now remove these costumes, these bodies, and return home. This is the service that your spiritual social workers have to do. Your spiritual social workers must continue to give this message to everyone. Forget your body and all your bodily relations and remember the Father and the home. Song Leave your throne in the sky and come down to earth. Om Shanti The song is generally sung where there are Gita Pachalas, means Gita study places. Those who speak the Gita first sing this verse, but they don't understand to whom they are calling out. At this time, there is definition of religion. First, there are the prayers. Then, there is the response, means from the Gita. They call out, come and speak the knowledge of the Gita, because sin has increased a lot. Then, there is the response means from the Gita, when the souls of Parat became unhappy and sinful, when there is definition of religion, it is then that I come. He has to change his form, and so he would surely enter a human body. All souls change their form. Your souls are originally incorporeal. You became corporeal when you come here. And you are then called human beings. Human souls are now impure and sinful. And so I have to change my form and come. Just as you become corporeal from incorporeal. In the same way, I also have to become this. Shri Krishna cannot enter this impure world. He is the master of heaven. People think that. Shri Krishna spoke the Gita, but Krishna cannot exist in this impure world. His name, form, country, time, and act are totally separate from this. The Father explains all of this. Krishna has his own mother and father. He has his form, which is created in his mother's womb. I do not enter a womb, but... I definitely do need a chariot. I enter this one when he is and the final one of his many births. He is Shri Krishna in his first birth. This birth is now his 84th and final one of his many births. Therefore, I entered him. He did not know of his births. Shri Krishna does not say that. He does not know of his own births. God says, the one whom I enter did not know of his own births. Only I know thus. Shri Krishna is the master of the kingdom. In the golden age, there is the Sandhanaista kingdom. It is the land of Vishnu. The combined form of Lakshmi and Narayan is called Vishnu. Wherever you give a lecture, it is enough to play the song. Because the people of Parat sing the song themselves. Only one, those religion has disappeared. Can I come and speak the Gita again and establish the same religion again? Since there are no human beings of that religion now, where did the knowledge of the Gita emerge from? The Father explains, there are no scriptures, etc. in the golden 
and Silver Ages. All of those are the paraphernalia of the path of devotion. No one can meet me through them. I definitely have to come. I come and grant all of you salvation via liberation. Everyone has to return home. After going into liberation, you will go to heaven. You will go into liberation and then into liberation and life. The father says, you can receive liberation and life in a second. It has been said, while living in your household, you can attend liberation and life in a second. That is, you can become free from sorrow. Sannyasis cannot grant you liberation and life. They don't even believe in liberation and life. The religion of the sannyasis does not exist in the golden age at all. The religion of the sannyasis comes into existence later on. The Islamic religion and the Buddhist etc. are not there in the golden age. All the religions except the deity religion are in existence now. They have all been converted to other religions. They do not know of their own religion. No one considers himself to be of the deity religion. They say Jai Hind means the victory for Hindustan. However, there is no victory now. No one knows when Bharat is victorious and when Bharat is defeated. Only when you receive your fortune of the kingdom and the old world is destroyed, is Bharat victorious. It is Raman who defeats you and Ram who makes you victorious. It is said, victory for Bharat. It is not victory for Hind. They change the words. The words of the Gita are very good. God, the highest on high, says, I do not have a mother or father. I have to create my own form for myself. I entered this one. A mother gives birth to Shri Krishna and the Creator. According to the drama, all of the scriptures, etc., have been created for the path of devotion. The Gita, the Bhagavad, etc., are all created on the basis of the deity religion. The deity religion that the Father created has not passed and it will exist again in the future. The beginning, the middle and the end are called the past, present and future. In this, the beginning, middle and end have a different meaning. That which has become the past will become the present again. Whatever stories are told of the past will be repeated in the future. Human beings don't know those things. Baba tells you at the present time the stories of whatever happened in the past and those will be repeated again in the future. These aspects have to be understood and you need very refined intellects to do this. Your children should go and give lectures wherever you are invited to go. Son shows father. Your children will reveal who your father is. The father is definitely needed. Otherwise, how could you claim the inheritance? You are the highest on high. However, those eminent people also have to be given respect. You have to give the father's introduction to everyone. Everyone calls out, Oh God, the father. They pray to God, Oh God, the father. Come. However, they don't know who he is. You have to sing Shri Baba's praise, sing Shri Krishna's praise, and also sing the praise of Bharat. Bharat was the temple of Shiv. It was heaven. 5,000 years ago, it was the kingdom of deities who established it. Surely, it must have been God, the highest on high. Salutations are given to Shiv, the highest on high. The incorporeal one, who is also called the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Although the people of Bharat celebrate the birth of Shiv, they don't know when Shiv came. Surely, he must have come 
at the confluence age before heaven was created he says come at the confluence age of every cycle not in every age even if he did come in all the ages there would then have to be four incarnations they have shown many incarnations only the one father who creates heaven is the highest on high bharat was heaven it was wiseless and so you cannot question how children are born there whatever customs and systems exist it is those that will continue why do you worry about that you should first recognize the father there you have the knowledge of souls we souls shed bodies and take others there there is no question of crying there is never any untimely death you shed your bodies in happiness so the father has explained how he changes his form and comes thus cannot be said of krishna he takes birth through a womb brahma vishnu and shankar reside in the subtle region the father of humanity is definitely needed here we are his children that incorporeal father is imperishable and we souls are also imperishable however we definitely do have to take birth and rebirth this drama is predestined you say come and speak the knowledge of the gita again all of those who came and the parted will definitely enter the cycle the father also came and the parted and has now come again he says i come and speak the gita to you again people call out oh pure fire come therefore this world must definitely be impure all are impure which is why they go to wash away they are seen by bathing in the ganges heaven existed in das bharat bharat is the highest the eternal land it is the pilgrimage place for everyone all human beings are impure the father is the one who grants liberation and life to all the praise must definitely be sung for the one who does such a great service bharat is the birth place of the imperishable father he is the one who makes everyone pure the father cannot leave his birth place and go somewhere else therefore the father sits here and explains how he creates his own form everything depends on your dharma your status depends on how much you imbibe not everyone can read the murlis in the same way even though everyone might be able to play a wooden flute they wouldn't all be able to play it in the same way everyone acts his part differently such a huge role is contained within such a tiny soul the supreme soul says i too have to play a part i come one there is definition of religion i also give you a written on the path of devotion people give donations and do charity in the name of god and so it is god who gives the fruit of that each one ensures himself the belief that they will receive in their next birth the fruit of what they have given whereas you ensure yourselves for 21 births that is limited indirect insurance whereas this is unlimited direct insurance you will attain limitless wealth when you ensure your minds bodies and wealth you will become ever healthy and wealthy you are ensuring yourselves directly human beings donate in the name of god because they believe that god will give them the return of that they don't understand how he gives that return human beings think that whatever they have received it was given by god that god gave them a child acha if god gives them a child he can then also take it back all of you definitely have to die nothing will go with you your bodies will also finish therefore ensure whatever you want now 
so that they will be ensured for 21 bouts. It is not that you can ensure everything and then not do any service, but content to aid here. You have to do service. The expense of keeping you also continues. If you ensure everything and content to aid here, you will receive nothing. You will receive something when you do service. Only then will you claim a high status. The more service you do, the more you will receive. The less service you do, the less you will receive. Government, social workers are also number wise. They have many important heads. There are many types of social worker. Their service is physical, whereas your service is spiritual. You make everyone into a pilgrim. This is the spiritual pilgrimage to take you to the Father. The Father says, renounce all consciousness of your bodies, your bodily relations, and also the Gurus, etc. And remember me alone. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is incorporeal. He adopts a corporeal form in order to explain to you. He says, I take this body on loan. I take the support of Master. You came not, and you all now have to return home again. He says to the souls of all religions that that is standing ahead. The Yadavas and the Kauravas will all be destroyed, and the Pandavas will come again to rule their kingdom. The Gita episode is once again repeating the old world is about to be destroyed. While you have been taking 84 births, this world has become old. Now that you have completed your 84 births, the play is about to end. We now have to return home. We will renounce our bodies and return home. Keep reminding each other that we now have to return home. We have played this part of 84 births innumerable times. This play is eternally created. People have to return to their own sections of the religion they belong to. The sampling of the data religion that has disappeared is not being planted. Those who are flowers will come again. Many good flowers come, but due to the storms of Maya, they fall. Then, by receiving the life-giving hope of knowledge, they stand up once again. The father says, you have been studying scriptures, etc. This one also had curves, etc. There is only the one who can grant salvation to all, including the gurus. There is liberation and liberation in life in a second. There are the king and queen, and so it becomes a family path. It was a wiseless family path, whereas it has now become a completely vicious one. The kingdom of Raven does not exist there. The kingdom of Raven begins after half a cycle. It is the people of Parath who become defeated by Raven. People of all other religions pass through the stages of Sato, Rajo, and Tamo during their own time. First, they have happiness, and then they become unhappy. After liberation, there is liberation in life. At this time, everyone is completely impure and decayed. Each soul has to shed his body and then take another new one. The father says, I do not enter the cycle of birth and rebirth. No one can be my father. Everyone else has a father. Even Sri Krishna's birth takes place through a mother's womb. This Brahma will take birth through a womb and he will then receive the kingdom. It is he who has to become new from old. He is 84 births old. It is with great difficulty that this sits in people's intellects accurately so that they have great intoxication. Thus knowledge is like musk. It is very fragrant. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, 
love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, become a spiritual social worker and teach everyone the spiritual pilgrimage. Plant the sampling of your deity religion. Second point, use your refined intellect to reveal the father. First embed everything yourselves and then explain it to others. Blessing, may you become an embodiment of easy success by doing powerful service with your mind while also serving with words. Explanation Just as you have become experienced and being constantly busy in serving with words, similarly, at every moment, together with serving with words, let there also automatically be service taking place with your thoughts. Serving with the mind means that you and others automatically feel the pure vibrations of having good wishes and pure feelings at every moment for every soul. Let there constantly be blessings emerging from your mind for all souls at every moment. By serving with your mind, the energy of your words will be saved and thus powerful service with your mind will easily make you an embodiment of success. Slogan Those who glorify the Father's name with their every day are true godly helpers. Om um, Shanti